hello and welcome back to my youtube channel it's dawn here so i'm just having a look to see what's on my desk um i've just gone through my bit box and i have created my very own bit box for this video so as you will see from the title this is how many cards can we create and it's using another so i'm just putting my ink pad away um it's using another 12 by 12 um paper pad so i went through my big bit box and um, i found these when i was tidying up which i did in a live the little inches and twinchies and stuff and they're absolutely gorgeous and i think they'll work perfectly with this um so i've just got some toppers out that i've made um these i think may work i'm not 100 sure i have all of these pastel flowers so i want to make most of these up um so ready to put on so i need to put my glue gun on i am going to film it all hopefully this time um nothing's going to happen i'm not going to lose any footage hopefully but the reason why i want those pastel flowers is because this is what we use in oh and i have some um these i want to use up as well so um yeah they're all on the bit box they're just going to stay off to the side of me um so this is the paper pad that we are going to use this is called pastels and it's absolutely gorgeous how beautiful is that so that is what we're going to use today um and i'm going to do five by seven cards as well so bigger than what we would normally do so i'm gonna say i mean there's 24 sheets in here i'm actually gonna guess at i think let me get my little card because we do have our little card let's write down um no, oh that i need that that's a, a little address so video three um and my guess is gonna be i'm gonna stay in the 50s i think i'm gonna go 59 yeah let's do 59 um i'm not going to mark off the 12 by 12 yet because we haven't started it yet but yeah we're going to go for 59 so let's see if we are right so i'm just going to put that back up there and we'll get that back down right at the end of the video so what i'm going to do is um i am going to pop on my glue gun um so let's just grab that out okay and oh do you know what guys i have so many wires it is absolutely ridiculous so i don't need that one so we can unplug that and that can go away now where's the glue gun plug that's the one that we need okay so let's get that plugged in and i'm going to show you before i go off i'm actually just going to use my pliers just to help because my hands are not doing great i should actually put my gloves on which are just here let's uh wrong one <laughs> really i just need this one on so let's pop it on because i do actually need these on right okay so what i'm gonna do is show you so you could get you don't need to have these these are just in my stash now i bought these from my local charity shop when it was open it used to have like a really big craft area and i loved it um and because of covid it has it has closed down so you can use tweezers for this i'm just using my pliers just because it's easier but what you want to do is you literally want to spin it well um roll it sorry if i can this is really hard to do um because i think what i'm going to do is sit and do most of these or as many as my hand will let me before i go on and do anything else because these are going to be i think the basis of and it's the first time i found something that's really perfect for um yeah for these to go on as well this paper pad just goes beautifully so you just keep going round and around like so um now you can just get a circle die um you do not need anything special for this at all um so you can get a circle die and cut a circle out and then you just leave it to go loose and there's your flower and then i like to use my glue gun do you know what would help if i actually put some glue in it so let me grab some glue sticks 
and your cap saw and then you just pop a lot oh it might just be some glue down and voila that is your flower done so um yeah so if you just get a circle i mean you don't even need a circle die to tell you the truth so I, I will show you um so i have a piece of paper here right and we're just i'm just gonna do a rough circle now my circles are terrible please don't you know judge <laughs> i don't know so yeah as you can see this is definitely definitely not a circle but um, if you wanted it to be a proper circle like these, then you would use a circle die. Um, but you can just do that. And then what you want to do is you just want to go around and try and keep an even amount of border all the way around. Like so. And you want to go right around the middle until you're at the end. Like that. Then... You are literally just going to curl it. If you've got a quilling tool, um, that would be perfect for this. Um, but yeah, I mean, you can just start rolling up. So there we go. So once you get the start, you just want to roll it all the way. So we're going to do that all the way along like so. And like I said, and you saw the state of my circle. My circle wasn't the best. Um, but it works beautifully for this. It really does. Um, so I thought if I show you guys how to do it before we start the video, then you guys could. So then I've got that and then I'm just going to leave go so like that. And then pull this little flap back and put a big dollop of glue on. And stick that down like so. And voila, there is a flower. And how cool is that? And that wasn't even a straight circle. So really easy to do. So we are going to, so like I said, I'm going to make lots and lots of them up. I have so many. It's ridiculous. That's how many I actually have. Whether I get through that many, I have no idea. But I'm going to try and get at least half of them made up. I'm going to move my little tray out of the way. Um, because I think these will really, really go nicely so i'll probably record a little bit of it and then um yeah so i'll just i'll just record and speed it right up <laughs> um but yeah please do feel free to fast forward any bits through this video that you would like let me know your guess down below what do you think how many cards do you think we're going to make in this so mine was 59 um so yeah um i'm got lots and lots of ephemera um i have my words um that are available in my shop um if you would like them um so i'm going to use those because i have lots of them um and i think that's it really so yeah let's see how many yeah let's see how many cards we do so i hope you enjoy guys and i will see you at the end
Okay, so I'm back. Um, now, I've lost a lot of footage again um, from this How Many Cards. So I'm having to redo the end of it. Um, so I've just grabbed all of the cards. Thankfully, I hadn't um, dropped them off at the charity shop. Um, I was going to go the other day. Um, and not, I'm really, really glad that I didn't. Otherwise, I would have lost this video as well. So I'm just going to move all of these. I'm going to count them with you again. Um, so that you can see and hopefully I have realized what the issue has been uh, we're thinking it is the memory card uh, so we're trying a different memory card and hopefully we're not going I'm not going to lose um, this bit either so um, yeah I'm going to sort of record the end of it again um, there will be a segment missing out of it I'm afraid um, but yeah Anyway, you're still going to get it to see how many we've done. So let's count how many cards, shall we? So we have got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, uh, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, let's move these ones, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, we are getting there guys, 49, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, um, 61, 62, 63, 64, 65, 66, 67, 68 so we made 68 cards i'm sure that's how many we made let me get my little card down because i'd already filled the card out so oh i've got 67 on here so we didn't we made 68 cards so obviously i miscounted the first time so it's probably good um so my guess was 59 we've made 68 um how cool is that and that is using one more 12 by 12 pa uh, paper pads so we've used two 12 by 12s and three six by sixes um so yeah it's so not bad going guys at all um like i said i am sorry that we've lost footage again fingers crossed we won't um in the last one i did explain that when i give these to charity um I will be making boxes to put them in so I've um yeah I've started doing that all I do is I me measure like the widest point so for this one I would measure that so where's my ruler um so I would do it at the thickness of this will be an inch so all of them will be like an inch um in a thickness um the other way that you could do it you didn't have to make a box you could just get say an a5 envelope and it would fit in so an envelope that is bigger than this than your card so you just want it just a bit bigger and they should fit in fine um but because i'm gifting these to charity there's a lot of them i'm keeping myself so a lot of them um i won't be doing boxes for but there is a few that um will be going off to the charity shop um so yeah so that is it guys thank you again for watching even though i know you guys have only seen the first one and uh, this is my second one um i'm just hoping keeping my fingers crossed that the memory card that is in now is working fine so if this goes up you know that 
we have sorted the issue and hopefully on the next how many cards video we won't have any of these problems um but i'm going to leave it there thank you everybody so much for watching please do subscribe if you're not already a subscriber and hopefully i'll see you again in another video very very soon but until then happy crafting bye